and welcome to Political Woodstock. I haven't done one of these in a minute. I've been kind of busy. But June 30th is fast approaching. Have you ever had an issue with your insurance? I'm betting nine times out of ten to whoever is listening that you have had a problem out of ten people. So, state question 802 in this great state, the grand state of Oklahoma, is about expanding Medicaid. Now, a healthy employee is a productive employee. In order to become an employee, health matters. Expansion of Medicaid will help this issue. I'm trying to think of different points. I don't have anything written down in front of me. But I'm your average Oklahoman. Or average single mother Oklahoman. I've struggled. And insurance has been a problem. Our state does not cover what I think should be essential for a child. Now, uh, I don't normally talk about my kids. But I'm going to. My youngest. Uh has conversion disorder, where she sometimes sees double. Now, the state will, of course, pay for braces, but with this conversion disorder, she could go blind in her 30s. And, of course, they don't cover the therapy for it. It's about $3,000. That's the cheapest price I could find. Now, does this single mother have an extra $3,000? No, I don't. But I had to move her to Arkansas where they do have expanded Medicaid. And she can get so much over there. Uh, Gone to children's hospitals. Uh, She has a few medical issues. And they get covered and taken care of. And I don't have to cry at night, wondering how my daughter's going to do. I don't know if you've ever been in such a place where you worry for your loved one. Are they going to get the treatment? Will I be able to pay for it? Now, I had a bank account that had about $30,000 in it at one point. And I started getting medical treatment for her while I was waiting to get insurance. Then we moved her to Arkansas. But I no longer have that bank account because all the money's gone. Now, if you're an average Oklahoman, you work hard for your money in whatever form it comes. This is a big blow. This affects the state of Oklahoma. This causes debt for the hospitals, specialists, regular doctors. If the person is not covered by their insurance for the treatment that they need. I'm going to make this pretty short. Oklahoma is paying in the big federal fund for states like Arkansas, Kentucky, States that decided to do the expanded Medicaid. So, why not just go ahead and enjoy the benefits of expanded Medicaid? Remember, a healthy employee is a productive employee. And we need jobs in Oklahoma. This is another deterrent. There are businesses like Walmart, per se. Their employees for their children qualify for Medicaid. But now they can't get the expanded Medicaid because the governing body of Oklahoma has decided no. But there was a big push to get a petition to get a state question where regular Oklahomans, just like you, your sister, your brother, your parents, maybe your kids, maybe your grandkids, could vote on this important life-saving state question. This will save lives in more ways than one. So I just wanted to say that please vote for state question 802. I know I was a little dramatic, but honestly, that situation was dramatic. Extremely dramatic. And I'm not the only one. We had gone to a children's hospital in Springdale, Arkansas, because she had the insurance of Arkansas. And um, they said a lot of people, if they come from Oklahoma, that their state insurance, the Medicaid, which is state insurance, 
does not pay for everything, where the state insurance in Arkansas does pay for everything. Is that fair? Is that right? That they should be shortchanged just because the governing body of Oklahoma decides that they don't need the expanded Medicaid. We need the expanded Medicaid endpoint. We need it. You need it. Your friends need it. Maybe the lady three doors down from you, maybe she could really use that expanded Medicaid. So please consider and do. Please do vote for State Question 802 on June 30th. You can go to the election board of your county, uh, like Tulsa County. You can go to Tulsa County Election Board and find out more information. Maybe you already have your absentee voter uh, information. The last day to order one was yesterday. But if you have one, you have very limited time to put that absentee vote form in the mailbox. It has to be received by your election board of your county by 7 o'clock, not 7.02, not 7.05. has to be by 7 o'clock, you know, if you do not want to do in-place, uh, in-house voting. And again, the time for getting those absentee votes is over. But you need to submit it. You need to submit it. There are some specific instructions. I do know that the Tulsa County Election Board has videos on how to fill out your form because you need to include a copy of your ID or get it notarized. So that is an issue. There's many people doing that are notaries that are helping others. You can call your political affiliation and see if they have a notary that they know of that could help you. You know, regardless of what your party affiliation is, please reach out. So get your absentee vote in, mail it in, and then they have early voting. It goes on tomorrow, I know, in Tulsa County. And then the voting day is June 30th on Tuesday. Do not miss the opportunity to go in early and avoid the crowds. I know in Tulsa County and probably the other counties, I, I don't want to want you to take my word for it. Give them a call. You can go in and do early voting. So uh, it's very important. So that's my plea. You know, um, and there's local offices also in basically every county, be it for county commissioners or state house, state senate. That might be a primary. Um, you might want to take a look at it. So sometimes the Republican or Democrats will have two people in their primary, but there's no one else in the opposite political affiliation, meaning maybe there's two Democrats running for an office, but a Republican's not running, so the primary decides the office, or vice versa, where there's two Republicans, or, or three even, and there's not a Democratic opponent for the primary. So um, it's something to think about. Your vote really matters. You really need to consider it. If you have any questions, please contact the local election board of your county. A lot of them have websites with information on it. So good luck and thank you for hearing me. If you have any comments, please let me know and I'll try to answer. But again, if it's about how to fill out your absentee form or anything like that, then please refer back to your election board or you could call your political affiliation. This is a nonpartisan issue to me. Healthcare it shouldn't be a partisan issue. Healthcare should be something to be relied upon but i may be opening a can of worms by saying that but hey oklahoma is paying for expanded medicare in states like arkansas and kentucky and not receiving any benefit in return now how is that good let's fix the ledger of life and vote for state question 802 i thank you for listening this has been 
a short podcast of Political Woodstock. Peace, love, and politics.